Hello, hello, and welcome again to another edition of my live tea tasting. Uh, this is going to be another special one, so I'm going to wait a couple minutes uh, to see who comes in. Uh, it should be, should be an exciting one. I can't wait for you guys to join. So, let's see who's, uh, who's the first to pop in. Oh, okay, I got two people. It didn't tell me who, but hi, two people. I'm going to give it another couple minutes. You guys just popped in automatically, so... Uh, I'm gonna wait a little while until we get this uh, this party started. So until then, I'm really excited about this one. It's gonna be awesome. This is one that I'm going into completely blind. Um, I've never tasted. Hey, Michelle. Okay, you're number one. You're actually the only person. Whoever number two was, they they popped out. So uh, you're my only audience. You can sit down and uh, give yourself a round of applause. For being the first and only. <laughs> sure, somebody else is going to pop in. I put out enough uh, enough invitations. So we'll give it another couple minutes or, or, or so. Yay for my like! Thanks. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, I'm going to give a little bit of an, uh, of an introduction um, to today's tea. Because it's going to be actually uh, one that I'm going into completely blind. Um, I've never tasted this one. I've never smelled this one. Um, I've actually, uh, it, it came recommended by a co-worker. So he gave it great reviews and, you know, we'll see where this goes. If anybody else is coming in, they better hurry up. Eh, anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to keep on going. Uh, while I wait, I'm going to... Um, start the water going. Uh, now today's tea, I was actually warned by the guy who sold it to me uh, that I should really understeep it a little bit because it's supposed to be like really strong and he said that the first time he tried it, um, he it, it, would, it hit him hard. So um, I'm looking forward to, to the challenge of this one. Uh, it's going to be pretty pretty interesting, I assume. Uh, now this is a uh, a black tea that's coming from the <laughs> yeah we'll see about that if I won't yeah we'll we'll see uh, this is a black tea coming from the Fujian province of China uh, it's supposed to be very very excellent uh, uh, well of course it's excellent quality because hey that's that's all they sell uh, at Adagio is like really great stuff um, so I'm hoping that it'll uh, it'll surprise me. Um, let me see if I can get any, uh, other background. I'm not really familiar. Oh, I just dropped it. Hopefully that's the only thing I'll be dropping today. There's always, there's always something. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I got three people in. Hey, Teresa, how's it going? Alright, so anyway, I'm gonna catch you guys up. Greg, what's up? Uh, I'm going to catch you guys up because uh, I basically just started. Um, I'm trying today uh, for the first time ever. I've never. This is a completely blind uh, tasting. I never had anything uh, awesome. I hope it comes out great. <laughs> uh, I've, I haven't smelled it. I haven't tasted it. I've, I've had no components of this whatsoever. Uh, it's the Lapsang Saochang uh, coming from the Fujian province of China. And... Uh, this one, I actually, I was supposed to do Cocoa Mint Green this week, but, um, I, I uh, yeah, of course he's gotta eat it, he's uh, got a captured audience. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, I was gonna do the Cocoa Mint Green, but this one came highly recommended by, uh, one of my co-workers, who I sent him the invite, we'll see if he shows up, um, but yeah, this is gonna be a pretty, uh, a pretty interesting one. Best tea for for a cough, um, for for just the cough, I would recommend uh, something uh, like a black tea, maybe Ceylon with uh, I always say that wrong Ceylon, uh, with some honey. Honey is like the best thing that you can do for a, for a cough. Um, if you heat it up and you get those uh, those vapors in along with the uh, with the tea itself. It'll it'll work wonder. Hey Jazzy, how's it going? 
Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do before the water is done, it's probably almost done already because I hear it. You know what, I'll, I'll just wait until it's done completely uh, so I can go over there and pick it up. But, um, yeah, this is this is a completely, uh, a completely new tea, like I was mentioning before for the new people that showed up. Um, it came recommended by one of my co-workers, and he says that it's got like a really full smoky flavor so I'm going to you're welcome uh, I'm going to taste it for the first time and let you know how it is uh, so the water is almost at the boiling point I can hear it it's uh, starting to starting to fizz oh it, it's okay thanks thanks for showing up um, so as usual I already went ahead and uh, pre-sweetened my uh, my pot so that's already sitting there waiting for me uh, once I get the water done, which should be in another couple seconds, uh, I'll be able to start it. Now this is supposed to be a really strong black tea, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to understeep it a little bit. I'm still going to do it at 118, uh, sorry, 100, uh, no, 212, I always do that. Uh, it's going to be 212 uh, degrees. Hey Shayna, how's it going? Oh, the water's done. Uh, I'm steeping it at 212 degrees, but instead of doing it for five minutes, I'm going to do it for three. Uh, because the guy at the tea shop warned me. He said it's a really strong uh, flavor. So, we're going to see. I'm going to put you guys down for just a second. This is the Lapsang Sao Chao. You can see I never opened it because... I want you guys to see the full effect. It pops off. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Ooh. Okay, now this is interesting. At first, uh, at first impression, it smells kind of like new leather. Yeah, it's it's very it's very like solid and and it's kind of it's kind of soft but in like the leather of a good shoe. It's really it, yeah, he's he's right. It's smoky. Yeah. Oh, it kind of smells it kind of smells like a barbecue pit after after like a week of uh of roasting and getting that good beef and pork in there. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, it's, I can go for a little bit more. Hey, Sarah. How's it going? Long time no see. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the water in. Oh, it's going to be the uh, 212... That is true, but for a high quality leather shoe, it's got a. It, I, I think that it's it's up there. There we go, and let the timer begin. Oh, and right away, right away, like the the uh, the water, the the water like activates it almost instantly. So I've I've already got like a a, a scent permeating in the room and it smells kind of like it smells kind of like a shoe store which I find very surprising I didn't know that you can get that kind of a uh, of a reaction from uh, from a dry tea um, let me pull up I'm going to show you guys what it looks like because to me it looked it it looks very like it's nice and toasted. There's not it's 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 not as bright as some of the other ones, but as you can see, it's got a nice brown uh, brown tone to it. It's almost coppery. I don't know if it's just the light. Um, yeah, it's true. It's it's like a shoe store. That's that's what it reminds me of. Ooh. And I'm tasting it already. Yeah, that is... I haven't even put it in my mouth. And I like I just smelling it 
it hit me like right on the tip of my tongue, like right there. So this is going to be a strong one. I can I can tell right off the bat. <laughs> like I'm I'm actually kind of kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm like, what did I get myself into? Uh, all right, so it's thirteen. I got two more minutes before I'm going to unsteep it. Um, this is going to be a strange. Uh, it's going to be a strange experience for me. Um, hopefully, hopefully I survive. No, <laughs> hopefully it's going to, to be a very positive one because, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I really love working on uh, new teas. I will be patient. I got to wait for it to be done. Um, I, I love experiencing new teas for the first time. And something as strong like as this promises to be interesting at the very least. Um, so as I was saying, this was down from the uh, from the Fujian province of China. I had to remember that for a minute. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of the background. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he was talking about a, a clean, smoky flavor. Uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. It says uh, it, it's got the finish of uh, of a smoking pine fire. Ralph, what's up? You made it. This is gonna be like, well, he's ta the, they they describe it as having a menthol like aroma. So I can already smell, I can already smell that uh, that flavor brewing. Okay, so it's already it's already done. So I'm gonna pull it out real quick. Wow, this even looks like a very rich. It's got a very rich color to it. I'll show you guys in a second. But I'm just going to uh, stir in the. Uh, the stevia. I almost said sugar, but it's not sugar. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Now you can tell this is going to be a strong tea because, like, black teas are usually uh, are usually brown, but this is like almost black black. Like, check that out. It's really almost. It's it's like right out of the earth. All right, I'll, I'll keep the interesting stuff. I'll, I'll wait until you're back to take the first sip. <laughs> uh, this tea, actually, it's it's since it's a black tea, it has the same uh, general health benefits. Uh, it's great for for blood pressure. It's great for um, well, actually, no, I can't really say blood pressure. Blood pressure is more on the green tea side. Uh, black tea is more for antioxidants. Uh, it's great for the immunity. It's good for digestion. Um, it's good for headaches. That's one thing I found out. Um, when you when you have a, a black tea or an herbal blend that's got um, something that's very very scented, that's that's good for headaches. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my first cup. And now, well, before I do that, I was going to, uh, to tell you guys what it smells like when it's, when it's in the water. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> this is some hot stuff. Uh, when it's, when it's, um, hmm, I'm trying to describe it. it it's, it's still like, it, it's gone from shoe store to barbecue pit like it's straight up barbecue pit right now yeah i, I mean that, that's like the that's the best way i can describe it but it's it's a barbecue pit in a good way so i'm gonna go ahead and pour out my first cup and i'm gonna see if i can do this in front of you guys Okay, yeah, you can see that it's brown, almost copper, which is a good sign in a, uh, in a flavor because that means it's concentrated. Yeah, hey, I think it's fitting for this uh, Memorial Day. P 
people's gonna start getting their uh, their barbecue pits out. I think this is a good way to kick it off. Oh, let me see. Ooh, that is smoky. Like, I I I I'm kind of like hesitant to <laughs> to taste it. Not for a bad thing. It's just. It, it, it's just like when you're about to put a firecracker in your mouth. It's going to be dangerous, but it might have some excitement in it. All right, Ralph. Well, you didn't come back in time, so I'm going to go ahead and drink it without you. I'm just going to cool it off a bit. First sip. Here we go. Ooh. That is good. I know patience is a virtue. Oh, that is that is good. It actually kind of tastes like like when when you're about to bite into a burger that just came out of the that came out of the barbecue pit, you get that scent that that comes right in before the actual meat. That's what that is. And it's it's strong. It's 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 smoky. Almost it's almost a vapor. And I really I really like it. It's like it it's like what you would imagine the barbecue pit to taste like. You know, I mean, I know that if you actually taste it it would taste bitter and awful because it's all like burnt wood and and um and charcoal and stuff. But this is actually like the liquid version of that experience. So great job, Aaron. <laughs> if you come in here later, I'll give you the kudos. But yeah, this is actually, this is a really good one. Mm. I got to look into to, to see how they processed it, how they, how they oxidized it. They had to have roasted it. Because that's the only way that I, I can understand that they would make that kind of a uh, that kind of an impact. You know, when you get when you get it hits you like in the front of your mouth and in the back of your throat, and I think that that's that's a sign of a really good wholesome flavor. And take another take another swig, Colleen, you made it. You just missed my first uh, my first sip. Mmm. Yeah, that's that's going well. Hey, Tina. Okay, well, you missed the name of it, first of all. Lapsang Lap Sao Chong. It's a black tea from from the province of uh of uh, Fujian, China. I keep stumbling cuz there's <laughs> I I have to keep that in mind. It's a conscious thought. Um, but it's, it's a really great tea so far. Yeah, you and your K-pop videos. <laughs> hey Val, how's it going? Tell Ralph that he has to like come back from whatever, from doing whatever he's doing. Cause he already missed the, uh, the first sip. Uh, so describing it, it's, it's like something out of a barbecue pit. It tastes really smoky, but wholesome. It's not bitter. Which is something that I was, I was kind of. Uh, it's lapsang sao chong. It's kind of like um, I, I see. I, I'm I'm doing it by by the way the guy at the uh, at the tea shop did it. Would I add milk? Um, I might. I I might add milk, but it really doesn't need it. I think that the uh the um the stevia that I put in there is sweetened enough. So you're cleaning up the office for the day, getting ready for the three day weekend, huh? Mm. So it's kinda like the more that it cools down, um I wouldn't recommend doing it 
for barbecue meat only because of the way that it's um, that it's processed. It's still like leaf. Maybe if you were to process it further, uh, made it into a powder and added some seasoning to it, that might that might work. Um, it's got kind of the same effect as a strong barbecue sauce. Not the, not like a sweet, not like sweet baby rays where you have that cooler, um, that cooler flavor. This is more like a one steak sauce. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if these tea leaves are edible. I mean, I, I, I'm not, uh, <laughs> like don't try this at home kind of thing. Um, I'm sure that the, I mean, it is drinkable, of course, uh, but the leaves itself, I have no idea. Mm. Now, the more that it cools, the more that it cools, it starts going more towards the, uh, the shoe, the, the shoe shop kind of flavor to it. Like it's it, it, it's hard to describe any other way, but you know that that distinct. Um, oh my! Uh, <laughs> that's my T Rex. See, it's my T Rex. I got this at the Field Museum. I love this thing. The uh, the bones you you can actually feel. Yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, you know how when you walk into the center of like Payless shoe store or shoe uh, shoe source, and it, you have that whole kind of aroma coming from the new shoes. That's what it. Oh yeah, it's it's a great size mug. I love this thing because I can drink my entire uh, my entire pot in. One and let's say one and a quarter, maybe one and a half of these. When I do it on my other, uh, on my other mugs, it's usually two and a half. So yeah, this I, I use specifically for the stream, so I don't have to keep going back and and uh, pouring it out and drinking and then pouring it out and drinking. This is just one shot. You're done. No, it doesn't smell like smoky feet. <laughs> they don't have the they don't sell the feet with the, the shoes it's just the shoes <laughs> smoky feet of course you get them hot feet and fungus toes then you have a totally different flavor I wouldn't recommend drinking the sweat off of smoky feet that would be a no-no but this this I highly recommend <laughs> no my description was shoes not feet you're the one who's adding body parts to it I didn't say none about that this is the kind of tea that I want to drink while it's still hot because I get the feeling that if it cools out too much uh, I'm going to lose that smoky flavor, and it's going to be like tasting the bottom of a new shoe, which I've never done before, but I'm using my imagination here, and that's like the best comparison uh, I can come up with. But by the same token, it's like, I don't normally, I don't normally, well, then maybe you need to go to a different pay less. <laughs> um... Is there a is there a leather that you chew? I've never heard of that. Well, yeah, it's based on a sneaker description, but I mean, you don't one does not chew leather. And I wouldn't call it jerky because it doesn't have that that meat uh that meat savory flavor to it. It's like just straight up smoke. Like I was saying before, when uh, before you got here, it's like something right out of the barbecue pit. Mm. They described it as um, as a pine wood fire, and I I get that totally. Like if I were 
if I could not go camping for a year, this would be <laughs> my replacement. Oof. Mm. I burned my tongue a little bit. I think I uh, I attacked this tea a little bit too uh, too soon. What do they produce? Yeah, pine wood fire. I know. I I I need to uh, I need to get um, what is it? The uh, subtitles. I don't know how they'll do it, but I'll get I'll I'll figure it out one day. Um, they produce, what do you mean they produce over fire? Or do you mean they produce the smoke from the fire? Or? I'm not understanding. Mm. Oof. Well, like we, we, okay, they produce fruit and veggies over fire. Make make a complete sentence. <laughs> I'm, I, I I'm not I'm not getting it. Oh, the scent, the scent. Yeah, um, it's not very, it, it's not fruity at all. It's more like the burning of the leaf, or the the burning of the bark. It's not fruity at all. This is a completely black tea. There's no uh, herbal elements in it whatsoever. Oh, I think I lost connection for a while. Um, grilled? No, I, I don't think it's it's got that kind of a. Um, it, it it lacks the iron. You know how uh, when you when you grill something and the iron mixes with the the food and whatever's on there uh this one is straight up campfire like if you it, it, instead of barbecue pit maybe i would compare it more to a spitfire that might be more accurate like if you were roasting something over a campfire that would be it Mm. Ooh, that's good. It's like now it's starting to hit me right in the back of my throat. Like it was just light before, but now it's it's got a stronger it's got a stronger taste to it. And I'm glad I didn't over uh oversteep it. Well, maybe one of these days you'll uh you'll get to. I think that this would appeal to somebody who's transferring from coffee to tea because it's got more of that more of that flavor to it. Yeah, I, I should work on that. Actually, no, I shouldn't because then you know I would actually have to shower more than once a month. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding for everybody that's like. Hey, Nasty. No, I'm just joking. Mhm. Mm yeah, it, it does have uh, a little hint of menthol. Um, let me see. They were talking about. Let me see. Uh, smoky. I'm just reading off of the description on the website. Um, well, <sighs> menthol, not the actual chemical of it, but it's got that that sensation to it it's it, it kind of tastes like the menthol of a cigarette without having the the strong uh the strong flavor of it it's like it, it's just it's just a little bit men mentholated in there yeah yeah it's it's not that uh it's not that effervescent where when you have the 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 menthol and the cough drops and it like permeates throughout. This is more like just the base flavor with a <laughs> hint of 